Hey everybody, welcome back to Chained Echoes, where our group of Kylie and Victor and Rob are facing off against Toma, a bandit who used to work for Rob's father, and where we've already lost this fight once, so it's time to try and do a better job. Now, taking a look at our options, uh, I think this time we're going to focus on taking out his minion first to reduce his damage and his ability to manipulate the bombs he throws. So we're going to go ahead and start with probably a poison shot on Toma to get some deep damage over time going on him. But other than poison, we're just going to focus on taking out the, uh, the bandit character here. Okay, so to begin with for our friend Kylian, I think we can lower everyone's defense and mind. That costs 40 though. Maybe we'll start by using recall training on ourselves so we don't run out of TP here. He's also got helping hand. That's going to help us uh, heal folks up as we go. Uh, and then for Victor, we can go with healing him, poetic march, valor minuet. I think we'll start with the poetic march here. Okay, now we're into overdrive. Let's focus on taking out the bandit. So. We want to start here. I think we'll do a charge charging on Rob, and then we'll use a power shot next turn. Okay, there's some uh, some heat for Victor. Looking at overdrive, I think we can use helping hand here. Okay, that looks good. And then for Victor, I think we'll focus in on some damage here. The alternative would be the healing him. Five turns of HP Regan for everyone. That could be good. Yeah, let's get that buff going. Okay, and now we're all set up. Now we can really get in there and get started doing some damage to this uh, this bandit minion. All right, so we'll use Power Shot on Rob. That's a nice start. Okay, now for Kylian, this is important. What do we want to do here? So the bandit has no debuffs on him. We could lower his defense for 20 here, or we could, for 10, use a helping hand on Rob. Let's do that. Okay, now we definitely want to move that bomb over to the other side. So, uh, I think we'll have Victor do an attack on the bomb here. And then we'll have uh, Rob do the same. We're gonna overheat here unless we use a helping hand or some other ability. Uh, yikes. We don't really have a good choice here. The bomb... Yeah, so the... Uh, damn it, we're already in trouble. Because the bandit is going to hit the bomb next if we hit it towards them. And we're overheated, so no matter what, we're kind of screwed here. So we might as well fix our overdrive to reduce the damage. And I don't really want to use Helping Hand if I don't have to, so let's use an item instead. We have an attack overdrive, debuff, magic, utility. None of that works. Defending gets us in there. All right, here comes the explosion. And that was terrible. We were all overdriven there. All right, let's heal all. Man, this is a tough fight. Okay, so we need to we need to do some healing here. We're still stuck in overdrive. I don't really have a choice here but to defend. Let's use helping hand on Victor. We're going to run out of TP if we keep going like this. We've got to get some damage going. All right. Uh, we need to attack everybody, but we can't do that. What do we do here? We've got the offensive buff and the HP Regan going. Heal all is kind of a waste. So I guess we'll just do some damage to the bandit here. And then we really have to use Power Shot as well. Okay, 
Okay, now we can use Healing Hand on Rob. There's Arc Swing. Okay, now we need... we got to use Basso Profundo. Well, we don't have to. Yeah, some of the other guys have some stuff here. Um, I think we use Heal All here. And we got to get some TP Regan going as well. Okay, we need we need a poison shot or a paralyzed shot here. I think we'll put poison on the bandit now. That was maybe a mistake at the start of the fight. We didn't put that on him to try and take him out fast enough with damage over time. Okay, uh, recall training definitely generating TP for Kylian. Victor's in trouble. We definitely have to do heal all here. And then probably a charging for Rob. We probably need a helping hand here on Victor. We're okay for overdrive. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, now, who are we on? We are on Victor, he has no TP. Let's get a sweets going. And what do we wanna do here? Probably Alfred's will on the bandit. Followed by a power shot. There we go, now we're making some progress. Okay. And now we're going to use uh, Victor's, oh, Victor's Ultra Move to get all our TP back and get us set up for moving forward. So, with, the, with that guy out of the way, it's time for the Cosmos Orchestra. Okay, much better scenario now. So, with just this one guy to deal with, uh, let's let's see what we want to do here. We can lower his agility. I guess I guess we'll do that. Then we can put a poison shot on him. Okay, Victor's looking a little rough. Let's give him a helping hand. And I think we'll use a Poetic March to get everybody's buffs back. Then we will... What do we want to do here? We don't want to use Pandemic. Maybe we'll charge him up. Or maybe maybe it's time for a Paralysis shot here. Maybe we can slow him down a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and Alfred's Will. Lower his defense. Okay, now, uh, we're doing well. I think we just do some damage here. The other alternative would be Valor Minuet. We still have TP Regan and HP Regan from the Ultra, so that's a no-go. We can't debuff him. We could heal all, but we don't really need to. Yeah, let's just use some Earth Drums. He's weak to Earth. And then we charged up, didn't we? No, we didn't. All right, well, let's charge here, or... Yeah, we gotta worry about the uh, the overdrive meter. We don't wanna get too high on here. Let's just, for now, let's just use a power shot. Just gonna throw a bomb, okay. He lost his debuffs, right? So, what's he got? He's got no debuffs right now. Uh, lowers target's defense in mind by three for all turns, but I think we just need to attack the bomb here. And then probably throw some poison on Toma here. Oh, he's poison, defense break, and mind break. Uh, I think even though it'll only do a little damage, we need to use Pandemic here. To lower the overdrive bar. Uh, he's gonna get to go before the bomb, so there's not much we can do to stop him from hitting us. Uh, I guess we just go Earth Drums here, and deal some damage to him. Okay. 
Okay, now, uh, let's go ahead and let's lower his agility again. Did we win? Hey, we finally did it. Okay. Just look at yourself and where your greed has driven you. Greed? Quite the opposite. We didn't fight for money or for land. We fought for our homeland and for our lord. We were loyal knights. Your father was unable to pay us, so for many years we fed our families on honor and the hope of victory alone. And we did so proudly. But with the end of the war, our hope died. He couldn't keep his promise. It wasn't our decision to cast away the oaths we gave your father. No, your lord father has been strangling our oaths for years by himself. Don't you understand? We need food to keep our families alive. We can't live on hope and honor alone. You apparently seem to be living very well on blackmail, robbery, and murder. Do not speak of honor. You are deaf. And you are dead. Leave him, Rob. For what reason, Sir Victor? Out of mercy. Mercy? Get out of here. I spit on your pity. You will feel my vengeance. Remember that. Better we move on before more of them show up. We should arrive soon, right, Rob? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not far. Let's hope the others manage to get there as well. Okay, so second time around, taking out the minion first, that was the right call. Still a dicey fight, but we managed to pull it off in the end. Okay, everybody made it back. We're at the White Rose Inn and we've reunited with our group. A toast to our reunion. I'm so glad nothing happened to you, Len. Glenn took good care of me. Yeah, unconscious in your arms. <laughs> Thank you for bringing him here safely. Well, the people of Wieland helped me. Is it a good idea that we drink here? Shouldn't we be resting? Tormund is close. If it wasn't for the darkness of the night, we could reach it in no time. We've earned this break, right, Sienna? No need to ask me, I'm always available for a drink. I bet you can hold your liquor. You won't find out with just wine. Is that a challenge? Landlord, please bring me your strongest liquor. Honestly, I prefer Klaus. I can serve with both. This liquor here has the fine taste of an Arcadian predicate wine and the strength to knock down even a warrior from Baki. Excellent. I plan to travel to Baki in the future. Let me try it as well. Arlette, fetch the fruit lure, would you please? Yep. Seems Blondie's had enough. W what do you mean? Are you drunk? Watch out, I, I, I didn't take a sip. I need to stay sober for, the, for, for Len's sake. Oh my, Rob can't hold his liquor. He gets drunk just by smelling it. You see, we should go to sleep. Enough is enough. Don't get angry, Glenn. We have every reason to celebrate. The Cortara Mountains are behind us. Tomorrow the reward awaits us. They even have the information we're looking for. We can't be sure of that. Maybe we missed something in Farnsport. Worst case, we're paid in gold. This brings us one step closer to the return of the Band of the Iron Bull. Have you forgotten our priorities? Of course not, but without gold we can't finance our search. We can't live on my family's money forever. Calm down, both of you. If it's the alcohol doing the talking right now, then at least let it speak about more joyful things. Okay, well, we've reunited with the group. That's fantastic. Let's take a look here. Uh, we've got new skills available. Oh, I guess we've got Glenn by himself for a minute. Uh, the mountains are behind the group. Only the fewer woods need to be passed in order to reach Torment. Okay. Well, what do we want to do here? Uh... Decoy, Arms Break, Lowers Target's Attack and Magic. That could be good against very strong enemies. Um, counter Defense up. Attack up, Machine Killer. Health Points plus 25. That seems really nice. But Arms Break seems like a great debuff to have as well. Or this Attack Stance. Yeah, let's grab the Attack Stance. Let's keep... Overdrive management has been the bane of my existence, so let's keep our options uh, as varied as possible as we move through the game. Okay, so Glenn's on his own. Let's uh, hop around and take a look at uh, what we can talk to inside the inn here. Princess. Princess, are you well? It's too dangerous. We shouldn't go there. We... 
you're the most important person I have. <laughs> uh, main quest upgraded journal. Let's see quests. The last mile. Talk to the others. One of five. Got it. Okay. Women like Sienna are just my type, but unfortunately, she doesn't seem to have my interest. Remember, Glenn, it's important to recognize when your attempts are futile. Some men think that by being persistent, they're proving their love to the woman, but in reality, they're just creepy. Don't be creepy, Glenn. Usually, my life consists only of writing and traveling. Rarely do I get the pleasure of trying out my musical arts. Did you know that when I was a little boy, I was a traveling showman and toured all over Eldrea with a troupe? Even as a child, I had a very deep voice and could delight the audience with it. When my magical talent was recognized, I was sent to the University of Nysa. My master Bartholomew suggested that I devote myself to musical magic. It was the perfect fit for me. If you want to make small talk, you're in the wrong place. But since I'm drunk, I can make an exception. Did you know I own an airship? The Himmelskaiser. And I even have a crew member. We traveled to Volandis because the Hooge was supposed to be anchored here and our ship needed repairs. I had myself dropped off in Farnsport to earn a little money. Once the repairs were to be done, after a couple of weeks, I was supposed to be picked up. I wish we had better timing, and then we could have flown to Tormund on the Himmelskaiser. It would have saved us the trouble. Unfortunately, we're now through Portara in one piece. I just hope this quest is worth the effort, because I have to get back to Farnsport somehow, too. Can we, before we finish up, can we go explore? Hmm, something on the bookshelf? About the living beings in Eldrea. There are five of their kind. The plants, the monsters, the animals, the humans, and the gods. This chapter shall focus on humans. They are numerous from different species and well-documented. The most common species are the ape-like homes. Since time immemorial, they've been found in every corner of the world and were represented in every social class. Back in olden times, species other than the homes used to live in their own communities. That was before the War of the Thousand Kingdoms. The small but wise Memorians, for example, founded the Vati culture. The elegant hyom like Vis created the Galtena Empire. Nowadays, they all live intermingled, and only rarely can you find villages belonging to only one species. An example of this are the Sova on Hecondria. Of the lizard-like Lisbon, there were once two, those that came from the desert and loved the sun, and those that rarely left the water. One was found in Abrelia, and the other on Miranda. The most exciting, exciting species is that of the Gimli, because they are the oldest and have no visual relation in the animal kingdom. While the Thera resemble predatory cats, the Polka resemble pigs, and the Fiora resemble fish, the Gimli resemble jello. Their bodies do not have a uniform shape, instead taking on an appearance that the individual creature wills. For short periods of time, they can separate their bodies and join with others of their species. When they do this, they share memories and experiences. The Gimli are so rare that little else is known about them. Was that was that Osric that we fought? Uh, the, the second thief band back in uh, Rock Bottom? Maybe he was a Gimli. I do see one treasure chest there. Can we get to it? Nice. There's a lava gorget. And I think that's it. Okay. Let's head back down and finish speaking by talking to Len. I guess we can come over here. That's it. All right. When I left the castle, I wanted to be sure not to make any naive mistakes. I knew my savings wouldn't last forever, and I would have to do hard, exhausting work that would push me to my limits. I was prepared for that tough world out there, or so I thought. But the real problem wasn't doing the hard work. The real problem was finding work to begin with. Rob and I almost starved to death. Fortunately, he found a job with a city guard and was able to finance us for a few months. Then a job opened up for me, too. Rob was concerned that it might be too dangerous, but we did it anyway. We've had enough of dry bread and watery soup. It was the first instructive lesson for me after I left the castle. A scream? A strange one at that. Is something wrong? We heard someone screaming. Oh, that. I uh, didn't expect you to notice. W what are you talking about? What happened out there? Oh, I think I know what it was. How about you explain it to my friends, landlord? With pleasure. Please, follow me outside. The reason for this scream is the flower here. 
What do you mean, the, the flower can scream? If I pick one, yes. Uh, let me explain. As you know, there's a soul in every living being, whether animal, human, monster, or plant. It's developed differently depending on the being. A plant doesn't have much of it. A monster has a corrupt version. When a living being dies, the soul leaves the body and flows into the maelstrom, a vortex in which all the ether of this world is united. In this whirlpool, the soul dissolves and mixes with other souls. And when a living being is born, a new soul forms in the whirlpool of ether and enters the body. It's an eternal cycle. These plants are very special. People here call them white roses because their true name is unknown in Volantis. It's actually called the Weeping Mary. It is a special characteristic in that when it dies, you can see how the soul leaves its body and disappears into thin air. It sounds like a human scream. How terrifying. And quite annoying for many farmers. <laughs> You seem to have a soft spot for this plant. Your whole garden's full of them. Well, the scream may be disturbing, but their appearance is beautiful. Did, did you hear that? What was that scream? Princess? Where are you, princess? <laughs> Let us draw the curtain for tonight. Many people find the soup disgusting, and if it's not prepared properly, they're right. One must remove the muddy taste of the toad by letting it swim alive in clear water. That's nonsense. Are you still drunk? It's the muddy taste that gives the toad soup the right aroma. Mud's nothing more than damp dirt. You don't mean to tell me that dirt carries taste. Hey, I've eaten both variations. Your toad soup lacks any taste. Oh, uh, Sienna, have you slept well? Where is she? Who are you talking about? Len. She wasn't in our room. I thought she was out here. You talking about the young girl? She left the inn with the first rays of the morning. Seemed to be in a hurry. What? But why would she not wait for us? That can't be true. She doesn't want to pay us off. I don't believe that. She didn't seem particularly stingy. Maybe she's realized you haven't earned your reward. After all, she traveled half the way here only with the redhead. Whatever the reason may be, let's follow her. We should catch up with her quickly. Thank you for your hospitality. Oh, you're welcome anytime. Please visit us again soon. All right. Wow. A lot of dialogue in this game. They, the characters do not shut up. They have a lot to say. Okay, uh, looks like Sienna's the only one with another ability here. Uh, let's try... We already picked up Nuketz, Nukitsuke. Um, extra damage on a paralyzed target. Yeah, so we have Rob in the party. Let's grab Iaijutsu. Sure. Or it wasn't Rob, it was, um... Was it Rob who had it? Yeah, Paralysis Shot. If we look at our formation, Rob's in the back behind Glenn. Hmm. Alright, well, it's something to keep in mind. He might, he might have an ability we want to use. No map. Alright. So if we check in and around the White Rose in here... Oh, wow, they scream just from being walked on, or they get killed just from being walked on. That's a little horrifying. Okay. Looks like we've got one way to go, which is this way. All right, step into the Fewer Woods. So... Uh, with a new area uh, at hand, we want to we want to take our time to really explore it this time. Uh, so we might be spending a couple episodes here. Uh, we also want to work on our reward board here. Let's see, we've got some silver ore, some horns, some jute fiber, and some thick hides. Now, where is Fewer Woods? Okay, so we can connect to it over here and start working on some of these. Yeah, this is Ogreen Grottoes. We've missed quite a bit of that. But all this in the upper right is the Fjord Woods. And here's an interesting question. While we're here, can we, uh, can we teleport? Not currently possible. All right. Well, let's get started. Looks like we've got some uh, chipmunks over here and some wolves, I guess. 
Uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Lowers all target defense. Well, we've got we've got uh, Glenn in the party, so we can focus one down. This is expensive too. So Glenn only or Kylian only has 112 HP. So starting off with him using one of these is like that's a third of his stuff. Let's start with recall training for him, and then moving forward we can use something else. Uh, for Glenn here. Lowers overdrive by 15. Okay, attack stance. Let's start with that for him. And then for our friend here, bleeding. Hmm. Physical attack dealing extra 3x damage on paralyzed targets, right? We don't have anyone paralyzed. Let's start getting some bleed going. Okay, now we're into overdrive. Our costs are lowered. And he is in trouble immediately. Let's go ahead and get Poetic March going. Uh, let's see. Now we'll start using Yoko Giri here. And we'll... Uh, what do we want to do here? We'll cross slash, I think. Yeah, they're all kind of low. Or kind of the same level, rather. Let's lend a helping hand to Victor. Wow, you... You SOB. I can't believe you just healed 140 hit points to everybody. That's brutal. Uh, let's get the healing him going. And here's a Petal Storm. Nice. All right, we took one of them out. Next up, uh, let's see. We don't need to worry too much about Overdrive at the moment. All right, here's a... We could Wide Swing or we could... Let's see what happens. Maybe we'll just lower some Agility. What are these guys weak to? They're weak to wind? Yeah, let's use wind. And we don't have anybody... All right, we can damage all with Yokogiri. This is good for our overdrive here. All right, now let's just finish it. We're starting to get into the situation where we have a lot of abilities, so it's getting harder and harder to figure out what's the best call in any given moment. Okay, uh, somebody got a skill level up, so that's fine. And uh, we probably want to be pilfering from these guys, too. Okay, so we'll start out by exploring around. Let's see. Okay, so there's that's interesting. There's a uh, treasure chest along that line, possibly. We can figure out... It would be somewhere around here, but yeah, it's hard to tell. It's probably the one to the left. So pretty much due left over here. Right? Or maybe it's a little bit higher up. Like leading in leading leading over in this direction? Hmm, maybe not. So I'm kind of just spamming the button where I can to try and find the treasure. Looks like it might be in that direction. But that seems hard to deal with as well. It would be kind of like over, kind of over along these lines, somewhere, somewhere over in here. Huh. Okay, I'm not finding it, so we'll keep moving. So we can head, head to the left here, or sort of continue... I, I guess I want to avoid heading towards the objective. 
so that I can explore the whole of the map as much as possible and see if I can find another class emblem and other secrets, maybe some weapon upgrades and such. So let's let's head over to the left here. See what we find. There's a soldier there. Some angel wings. Okay, what's this guy got to say? This part of the forest is sealed off. All right. Well, so much for that. Back we go. And we could fight these guys again. Oh, they haven't respawned yet. Okay. Then, yeah, up we go. Up to the north here. Now, is that... Okay, so that's, that's the kind of thing that I've missed a lot. Is the ability to just, like recognize, hey, there's a gap there. I might be able to go through it, right? This time I happen to notice it. Okay, so this thing is... I, I'm confused. That's pointing down. So... That suggests that yeah, there would be an intersection of these over here somewhere. I can't really... Oh, there it is. Okay, we found it. It was a paralyzed hit gem. Nothing too special. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nothing too special. Alright, we got more dogs there. I guess we should fight them and then try to try to try to see if we can do better than the last fight. So where we start here, you know, the other thing I need to think about is um. I have to check my, my equipment here. Let's start by putting bleeding on one. And then let's go to attack stance here for Glenn. Let's have Let's have Kylian lower all their defense for three turns. And then let's have Victor use Poetic March here. Okay, now, let's also look into doing some pilfering here. Or, we can wait until there's only one left. Let's go Yoko Giri, actually. Okay, I think we go cross slash. That one, the lower one has bleeding, but let's take let's take him out. There we go. All right. Yak grass fiber. Okay. Um, I think we throw a helping hand to ourselves, and now we need to worry about the overdrive bar here. Uh, I think we gotta heal all. And now we need to pilfer. Perfect. That's what I was gonna do anyway. Nothing to steal. Oh, I should have checked. Okay, they don't have anything to steal. Uh, let's, uh, restrain here. Alright, they're healing up real good. What do we wanna do here? They're still broken. Uh, let's swap him out. Or no, that's not that's not the right thing. Oh, we can't Rob is on Glenn. Alright, we can't swap him out. So what do we want to do here? Leg aim, Alfred's will. I guess we can extend this. And let's get bleeding going on one of them. Since they have healing, we just kinda need to counter their their ability to heal themselves. Let's go pressure point. What's Glenn doing? He's still got that attack stance. Yeah, he's looking good. Alright, so we could armor break. I don't think we need to. Let's just finish this wolf. Alright, and this last one shouldn't be a problem. Almost dead. Uh, I didn't. I didn't think about 
<laughs> oh, this raises crit chance for 15 for everybody, huh? I didn't think about the overdrive bar in that section. So that was a little bit of a mistake, but we should still be fine. Um, guess we'll just do an attack. Followed by a cross slash should finish it. There we go. Okay. So we can drop down from up there, but we can't climb up. All right. Is there any other like secret pathways or hidden hidden like tunnels in this greenery? I guess not. I guess we're going this way. Oh, what is that? <laughs> the first hikers from the Kortara Mountains arriving so early. We must have slept at old Dame Bert's. Indeed, we are on our way to Torment. Our companion has gone ahead. Have you seen her? No, unfortunately not. Uh, are you sure? Don't you want to know what she looks like to begin with? This time in the morning, only people from Torment's direction pass by here. Nobody crosses the mountains in the dark. So if someone comes from your direction at this time of day, they probably slept at the White Rose Inn. We'd have noticed someone passing by, believe me. <laughs> the village of Eden is close. We should ask there instead of interrogating this dubious figure. <laughs> Do what you want. But if your companion was a woman, you should hurry. <laughs> what do you mean? Never mind, never mind. Just the ramblings of a dubious figure. Farewell. Let us make haste. Hmm. That is dubious. That's both dubious and sketchy. And now he won't talk to us. Okay. I keep feeling like I'm missing secrets with this game. I'm trying to get through too fast, you know? But uh, we'll just do what we can, you know? We'll explore, we'll play the game as we can. Do our best and hope that that's entertaining. Okay, so it looks like we've made it to the village of Eden here. Before we explore Eden... Okay, so we do have fast travel, but it's not currently available. All right. Before we explore the village itself, I'd like to double around and pick up this stuff on the other side here. Right, so we'll come down here into the water. I'm gonna search around for stuff. Okay, it looks like we can climb up here. Okay, and now we're over on this chunk. Was there a way through the... to go further down to the right here? Hmm, maybe not. It looks like there's more down to the right, to the south, but I don't see how to get there at the moment. Unless there's... a way through these ro reeds or rocks? No, it doesn't seem like it. Well, up we go here. Okay, we got we got a small reward for doing that, but what can you do, right? So let's go back around and investigate the village. There's a long feather. We've got some cows and pigs over here. Who are you? Uh, keep away from the western part of the Fear Woods. Forest dragons can be found there. Living in the woods, they may have lost the ability to breathe fire, but they're still very dangerous. Alright. There's the drop down. Supposedly, Dame Bird of the White Rose Inn was once a scientist. People say he was researching something forbidden and was run out of town. Can you believe it? I bet it has to do with human experimentation. Now he's a simple innkeeper. Or he wants us to think that. Can people really change? Wait, how is our quest updated? Ask around the village. Ah, okay. Uh, we should check our equipment here and maybe our formation. Who would I want Rob to swap out for? Kylian's the one who has the most, like, problematic kit. So let's move Rob over there. We can bring him out if we need to. Yeah, okay, and then let's look at equipment real quick. Uh, do we have an accessory? Yeah, we've got three accessories we're not using. 
Uh, immune to poison, immune to silence, immune, uh, or fire resistance. Uh, I think immune to poison's good for him. And then we have the class emblem here on Victor, who should get immune to silence, I think. Yeah. And then we also have the fire resistance. So who's got the lowest hit points? Looks like Rob. He can have the... Uh, oh, wait, that's... Oh, everybody has something in terms of an accessory now. Except Len, who's not here. And we've got the cleric thing on the right person. So, okay. That's good for that. Let's check out this house. Got a Sylph's fan, whatever that is. And a book. The continents of Eldrea form a ring. If you look at them in the form of a clock, from one to four o'clock, you'll find the continent of Wappen, the largest of the continents. Here, not only the free cities share the landscape, but also Arnsreich, the Republic of Dorver, and the city-state of Vati. In the far north, where the climate is harsh, live the High Brothers. This land of vast plains changes to the south into the largest mountain range in Eldrea, Ramunda, before heading southwest to the temperate plains and southeast to the wild jungles of Vati. Continuing to follow the clock hand, between four and seven o'clock, you'll find the elongated continent of Do. Due to old documents of drunken sailors, the continent has long been wrongly classified as a chain of islands. Here, the Sunna and Hana populations live in an eternal war, which was already instigated before the War of the Thousand Kingdoms. The peace treaty at the end of the Fifth Era, which was forced upon them, did not change much. Between 7 and 9 o'clock lies the continent of Brand uh, Brandian, which has been completely ruled by the Galtina Empire since time immemorial. Unfortunately, there's not much left of either the Empire nor the continent itself, as they were completely devoured by the fungus. Between 9 and 11 lies Jadar, which is dominated by the Doma Desert. Here lies the Empire of Revolution to the south and Nebrelia to the north. At 12 o'clock we find our beautiful home, Volandis. Too big to call it an island, too small for a continent. Finally, the island of Miranda exists in the middle of the ring. This ends the tour of our known world. Outside of the continents lie the spring seas, and what is outside of them nobody knows. Only the rock mass Pangaea in the north was discovered beyond the ring seas. But except for the coast, where the mighty Baki live, nothing is known about this place. What is that? Is that a... Is that a pig? or No, is that a dog? It's a tiny, tiny little dog. Okay. <laughs> On the way to Tormund? You've almost made it. So we're, we're here in the village. That's where we came from, right? Yeah, okay. So if we make our way up here, here is the... Uh, I guess this is the inn, maybe? And we have the opportunity to do some upgrades here. We should sell that copus. Uh, we could upgrade Lens Glaive to a Glaive++. Plus plus. I don't know who that is or why he has a ruby amulet. Everybody's pretty much upgraded at the moment. I think I'll hang on to these materials. Maybe upgrading armor is the way to go here. So, yeah, maybe maybe armor is the way to go. All right, let's get at least one upgrade going for these guys. Okay, I guess that's the best we can do for now. What's inside? Is this an inn? Yeah, okay. Uh, we've got a merchant. We can sell him the extra copus. And we can sell him the boken that uh, Sienna's not using anymore as well. Do I... Can I take stuff out? Can I take the crystal out of this? Uh, was there anything in the copus? No. All right, let's sell that for sure. We've got a spare raven cloak we're not using. Maybe we hang on to that? No, we can sell that. Uh, usables we'll keep. Loot we should sell all. And I don't think we want to sell any materials. Okay. New deals unlocked. What about buying? Yeah, this is all kind of equal to what they have. Nothing new. 
and deals. Anything actually available? Bow three. Okay. We got a recurve bow. Maybe we give that to Rob right now. Let's go see if we can remove crystals here. Um, yeah, remove from weapon. Okay. There should be a katana that nobody's using right now. The boken. Yeah. Do you want to remove the crystals from your boken? No, your crystals will have no purity left and will be big. Okay, maybe we can reuse it anyway. You obtained Paralyze Hit 3. Okay, that's something. Do we want to slot that into her new... Her new katana? Oh, that's already got something in it. Okay. We've got this new recurve bow. A rapier, ruby amulet... All right, we can't do anything, but let's upgrade the recurve bow here, assuming it's better. Yeah, I think it is better. Let's upgrade this. Then let's put a wet, put a uh, crystal into it. So we should have paralyzed hit. Yeah. Size three, purity zero. So these can't be up upgraded anymore. We also have chemistry. So break extender, debuff has effect has a 50% chance to hold longer for three turns. Flying killer or paralyze hit. Yeah, 5% versus 50%? Maybe we're better off with the break extender. We put a lot of debuffs on people. Yeah, let's let's get the break extender going here. Okay, and let's uh, let's equip that. the recurve bow and then let's take whatever crystal we have in the other bow out okay we got back uh, an HP 3 up do we have armor for anybody yeah Sienna or no that's Len we could put it into Kylian or we could put it into Victor yeah, let's put the... I think the HP 3 up in there is a good call. Okay, I think we're set now. So we're going to head back in here and we're going to take a break here. Guys, when I come back, we'll investigate more of Eden Village here and the uh, inhabitants of the inn and the other buildings. We'll continue on through the forest, attempting to work on our, uh, our board here as well as uh, searching every, every nook and cranny for another class emblem for weapon upgrades and all that good stuff, trying to do a better job of preparing ourselves for the story uh, missions ahead. Uh, and we'll try to catch up with Len, or AKA Princess Celestia, and see why she ran off and what, what, our, what our future holds. But that's gonna be it for this time, so I hope you guys are enjoying the series and like today's uh, video. Let me know what you think in the comments below or hit me up in the Discord. And otherwise, take care.